Have you received an email saying you've won the lottery? You never entered or inherited money from a long lost relative you don't have. All you have to do is send off a small fee to access your millions. Hi, I'm Simon Dupnar and I'm an attorney. Hopefully these emails go straight into your spam folder, but many people still fall, fall prey to these cons every year. The advanced fee scam, a type of cyber extortion, originated in Nigeria, but South Africa is also known for a high incidence of advanced fee fraud. And worryingly, hackers have moved on to more sophisticated means of extracting funds from innocent victims. Most of us won't experience a ransom attack for millions of dollars. We are more likely to be the victims of what's called phishing. Fraudulent emails that look credible invite us to click through to a fake link, pay a fake invoice, or upgrade a Microsoft or Google account. The amounts involved are small. Many people pay them out of fear they'll lose access to their account. For the cyber criminal, these small sums add up when hundreds or thousands of victims pay up. This is cyber extortion. Cyber extortion occurs when any person unlawfully and intentionally commits to threaten, threatens to commit an offense defined in the Cyber Crimes Act 19 or 2020 for the purpose of obtaining an advantage from another person. Basically, cyber extortion happens when someone accesses your data, website, or computer system and demands payment from you. Do you use the same password for all your online accounts? You've made life easy for the cyber criminal. If they infiltrate one of your accounts, they've got a free ride to all of them. Use strong, secure passwords for all your online accounts and make sure each one is unique. Don't open emails from unknown senders. Legitimate emails do come from new contacts and you may need to open them but just use common sense. If the sender's address or subject line looks suspicious, it probably is, delete it. If the message is generally important, they'll send it again or find another way to reach you. If you do open mail from an unknown sender, be careful opening hyperlinks, or better still, don't open them. If you receive a WhatsApp message from a known contact, but the contents of the message seems unusual, your contact may have been hacked as well. Call or SMS them outside of WhatsApp to ask if they sent the message. I've seen a lot of this type of activity lately. Enable two-factor authentication on WhatsApp for added security. There is plenty of advice online about how to spot phishing tactics. It's worth taking the time to familiarize yourself with the tricks cyber criminals use to separate you from your money. If you've fallen prey to a phishing scam, don't be embarrassed to report it. It's not your fault. Hackers know just how to exploit your weaknesses. Every case of cyber extortion should be reported to the police. Unless the, police are made, unless the police are made aware of these crimes, when they happen, they'll not be able to investigate them and they will not have a full picture of the scale of the problem. Life online is here to stay. Most of us would not want to go back to the analog world. But don't let cyber criminals make your life a misery. Stay safe out there.